Good morning, welcome back to Advancing with Watercolor. I'm Gary Tucker, and today I'm developing a painting I started last week um, after a visit to Venice this past September. I'm looking at uh, Santa Maria della Salute, which is on the main canal in Venice, and uh, did some painting in front of this building from different angles. This painting you look at now was developed last week. It's a study, and I've done some smaller studies um, since then. Today I want to uh, develop this into a little larger work and a little more uh, in line with an idea that I've been thinking about. So <clears throat> to build on last week's discussion, I was talking about some of the challenges in dealing with an icon that is a very recognizable building. And uh, one of those challenges is with Salute in particular is it's been painted so many times by so many great artists. And those paintings kind of remain in my mind. And it takes some while to exercise them and find my own way uh, with this building. So uh, through experience, I've learned that usually it takes some time to develop an idea, a gestation, sometimes a great deal of searching to arrive at a viable idea for any one painting. In my case, I'm looking at, for a unique interpretation of Salute, not just a portrait. As I move forward, I notice I become more and more interested in a part of the building and not its entirety. Also, while the idea has a root in my subject, I start to move more towards abstraction. In this case, I've become particularly interested uh, with the shadow play that's coming on the left side of the building. This idea um, doesn't come out instantly. It's happened over the course of several studies and a lot of reflection. Um, in between paintings, I study them, I, I zoom in, I think about doing it in different ways. But I truly enjoy this process. Sometimes I enjoy the process more than result. Uh, through this uh, development, I kind of challenge on things that I take for granted or things that I believe I know, things that I see, and also um, I tap into what I would like to see. And that sometimes is, well, most often it's very vague. It's sort of like a, almost like a dream. And it can take a long time to bring this out. Looking for the essential. Invariably, I come to look for something essential uh, within my experience uh, with this motif, something essential about the subject, something essential about the light on the subject. And as I said, it's a meaningful process, and I enjoy the different stages along the way. After diving into the motif through sketches and paintings, I started to arrive at a structure based on a facade on the left side of Salute and especially this play of light uh, that moves across the building. And I came to understand this view quite well to the point where, without looking at the reference material, I'm looking at my sketch more than anything else, I could paint it uh, without looking at it. And, uh, and in the essence, look, uh, paint it without being trapped by it. So I'm really, as you watch my hand, I'm much more focused on what's happening in the painting. And I'm, this allows me to um, respond to what happens with watercolor. And I've found uh, in my experience that watercolor um, takes its own direction. I mean, it, it's a cooperation between artists and the media, but um, I want to be sensitive to what the media is doing and pick up on the lights and dark edges that they're presenting themselves and respond to that as I build the painting. So <clears throat> I guess what I'm trying to say is that um, I have an image inside of me, but as the painting starts to evolve, I'm much more conscious, much more sensitive to following uh, what the painting is doing. And in particular, playing on those broken lights uh, that you see, which are a result of that first uh, pass with the with the dark gray.
performing the watercolor. Well, I realize that at this point, all of the sketches and meditations on the subject of salute had created a mindset or a state of being inside of me. I wanted, I wished I could perform this painting in watercolor. I had a strong desire for it. This may sound like a strange concept or analogy, but I find it a recurring condition in myself. And it's the condition, it's this state of mind that has become my goal. Actually, this painting almost becomes an afterthought, as there is a definite elation, a sort of epiphany state of mind that results in a prolonged study and a drive towards the goal of this painting. In fact, I recall a quote from Robert Henri, who was, wrote The Art Spirit. It's a favorite book of mine. And the quote is, uh, the object isn't to make art. It's to be in that wonderful state which makes art inevitable. And uh, this quote has stayed with me for since I first read the book, uh, maybe some 45 years ago. And I realize it again and again in in painting different subjects, that the state of mind becomes the goal. And this state of mind takes, a, takes time to build up to through studies, and um, you don't always, I don't always reach it. But in this case, in the case of this painting, I feel that very much as I'm working on the facade of Salute. So I can finally celebrate this idea with brush and paint. There's really no template for this painting except what exists in my thoughts and my inner being, bonded with my experience in front of Santa Maria della Salute and that wonderful, wonderful light of Venice. As I'm putting on some final touches to the piece, I, of course, feel some inadequacy. I realize that there are imperfections in the painting, whether from lack of ability or foresight to make all of the strokes perfect. I can see them, I recognize them, and they cause me a little anxiety. But I also know uh, sometimes these uh, imperfections, they contain their own beauty, and they certainly uh, certainly don't detract overly much from the painting from my point of view. Anyway, as I reach the end of the painting, um, I feel uh, I've accomplished something in the process. I feel I've realized at least uh, some unique vision of Salute. I know it's not uh, the end, and what I mean by that is I'm sure I will return to Venice again, and I will return to Salute and paint it once more. So the painting has been painted, and there is a certain feeling of conclusion to the process. I no longer feel this desire to paint Salute. It's not a particularly sad feeling, but I'm just hungry for something else. I know that I will visit Venice again and see the motif once again. And I'm sure, I'm quite sure I will see Salute differently. So this is a conclusion to uh, this video. There is a PDF that accompanies this process. It builds on last week's demonstration and concludes with this week's demonstration. I hope you'll look through the description and find that PDF. I uh, hope you'll visit my website and give me some feedback. And I wish all of you a happy and healthy New Year.